Jenny Maple, and I'm here with Mr. Matt Fraser at ShakaCon 2015 in Charleston, West Virginia. Mr. Fraser, it has been nothing less than a joy to have you here this weekend. I hope you enjoyed your time with us. I, I have indeed. Please call me Matt. I feel that I've become Matt to you guys and not Mr. Fraser. You made me Absolutely. feel so welcome. I feel like part of your weird family. It is, that, is a, that is a damn truth, let me tell you. I wanted to speak with Matt here today because um, you know, he's well known for his role in American Horror Story Freak Show, and we've been talking about that a lot this weekend. But near and dear to my heart, um, Mr. Fraser, Mr. Matt, Matt is a burlesque performer. That's right. So I wanted to talk to you about that a little bit. Um, when did you get into burlesque? How long ago was that? I got into burlesque in around 2003 in London uh, when it was starting to take over the cabaret scene. I was just getting into hosting cabarets at the time. And then I found myself doing more and more burlesque. So kind of became a burlesque MC. Around that time, uh, 2007, I met Julie, my wife, the Julie Atlas Muse, very well-known burlesque performer. I'm learning this on camera, Julie Atlas Muse. Yeah, we're married. Oh, shit! Yeah. <laughs> well, that was cool, caught on camera. Oh, uh, and um, we did a show together at the Sideshow in Coney Island, and I saw her do her famous um, dismembered hand act which was like real horror and she's like screaming and looking ugly and I thought, wow, she just doesn't want to look beautiful. She wants to look like crazy and I, I was lost in her. And um, years later, you know, now we're married. Um, so I went, shifted over from London burlesque to New York burlesque around 2006 and seven, became a regular host at the Slipper Room there. And then, um, and I mean, I basically married into burlesque royalty. So I ended up hosting these incredible shows and I did burlesque Hall of Fame. I hosted one of the nights there and you know, that's how I got into it. I like New York burlesque the best because my personal style is neo. Classic burlesque is great, but there are a lot of women doing it and not enough women doing self-expression in a contemporary format, talking about stuff they're interested in and showing us all via the medium of striptease. Mm. Um, you were one of those performers. So, you know, that's my deal. That's what I like. I did a funny little strip act where I had long arms and stripped out of them and you know, to celebrate my beautiful freakishness and it did all that, but I tend mostly now to host shows because I love hosting. I love interacting with the crowd and, and messing with people and all of that. And, you know, I like introducing people. I'm like Kermit like that. I just love going, please welcome. You know, I just love doing that, you know. I don't even need to ask any questions. This man is just covering everything and I am woefully unprepared for this. When I met Julie, she was Miss Exotic World and Miss Coney Island. Yeah. Um, and um, and uh, I'm a very lucky man. I'm a very lucky man to be with her. She's a good woman. Are there any burlesque goals that you have not hit yet? Uh, have you done Hall of Fame or? Funnily enough, I did the Walk of Fame um, in uh, Las Vegas last year. I called out all the legends. Um, I'm, and I collect, I collect 10 by 8s of old ladies who used to be a fa famous stripper in the 50s and 60s and 70s. So I'm building up my collection. Um, don't have any goals left with burlesque because I've kind of done them all. But I guess I would go back and do um, burlesque call of fame one more time in Las Vegas because it's boy is that a pressure gig if you're a host. Now I have to ask you this, and I'll be very jealous. I'm sad to say I live in West Virginia, and Miss Blaze Star recently passed away. Yes, that's right. Did you have the opportunity to meet Blaze Star I at some did. point? I never met Blaze, but um, in a similar way, I became not friends exactly, but an acquaintance of Dixie Evans. Um, one of Blaze's yes. contemporaries um, and uh, Julie and I visited her about eight weeks before she died and um, she told us about playing strong so she's a 90 year old lady like covered a couple of strokes she looks like she's gonna die let's face it and she's like explained that playing strong was sometimes the promoter would ask you to play a little strong which meant like show a little bit more because uh, there were certain people in the audience you know it would be like a mafia guy or something because it was all back in the day you know so um, yeah, but I was aware that Blaze passed recently and, you know, it's going to happen. It happens a lot. I mean, they're all getting to the age where they're going to be passing. We just have to keep the legacy going and keep the work going. You know, a lot of my contemporaries are, have hit their 50s and in 15 years' time, they're going to be the legends. You know, you've got Dirty Martini, you've got Tigger, world famous Bob, Julie Atlas Muse. The list goes on and on. Bunny Love, Bambi the Mermaid. Um, you know, I was just with Bambi. I mean, Bambi could be one of the people credited with starting the Obelesque back in, uh, in like 92, 93. She was working at Go-Go Club and it slowly morphed into a burlesque club. It can be argued that that's where it all started again, you know. So I'm 
I'm blessed to know all these people. And they're happy to have that weird mutant English cousin as part of their gang, you know? You're, you're the crown jewel. Thank you. I'm hardly the crown jewels. Well, I, I've got some crown jewels, as we call it in England, but I only show those when the price is right. <laughs> well, Matt, I can't thank you enough, and I totally am embarrassed that I didn't know that before well, I talked would to you. you. I just spoke about Julie, and you didn't know. Why would you know? It's fine. Oh, God. Let's have a hug. Let's be a hug. Oh, That's a big, big burlesque hug. hug. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.